Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning. Just on my way to the gym. Today I wanted to talk about this guy over here. His name's Sam Selleck. You've probably seen his videos. You've probably heard of him. 3.4 million subscribers. Posts every single day, I think. Last I checked. Posts every day. Videos are long, unedited. Doesn't seem to give a rip about thumbnails, titles, nothing. But he has 3.4 million subscribers. Meanwhile, I'm over here. We're creators like you and me, if you're a creator. We're doing research on what video titles we should use, what thumbnails we should use. And then there's people out there that are just kind of bucking the system. Hold on. There's people out there that are just bucking the system, just totally ignoring all those, quote, rules about social media and YouTube and everything like that. And they are still, they're still, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not gonna cut that out. Usually I cut those out. They are still finding crazy amounts of success. Now, of course we know that big, huge creators like Mr. Beast, which I think he is now, officially the biggest YouTuber in history. Props to him, very hard worker. Everything is crafted, engineered. His thumbnails are engineered to make you click. His titles, his intros, that's what he does and I'm sure that's what he loves to do. Creators like me, I'll do a little bit of that, but I don't wanna do, I don't wanna spend a ton of time researching titles, thumbnails, videos. Maybe I'll spend like five minutes for the title, five minutes for the thumbnail, and uh, and then and then I will just throw it up, right? But what I like is I like having an idea, filming it, editing it, and posting it, and interacting with you guys, the audience. Now I've beat myself up before about having a video that doesn't do very well, but when it comes to when I see creators like Sam Sulek, and I think other creators are doing this as well basic thumbnails, basic titles, and they're having that much success. It makes me feel really good, and it's actually very inspiring because it shows just how anything in social media or YouTube or in life is not written in stone. What worked 10 years ago or five years ago doesn't necessarily work today. Uh, and since Sam Selleck is a bodybuilder, dude's absolutely massive, absolutely huge, you could just tell he has an insane amount of focus and uh, he has an insane amount of focus. Guy was looking at me like, what is he doing? Or he knows what I was doing, whatever. Go, go out film in public, just practice, you got it. Uh, so yeah, he's absolutely massive. You could tell he's got an insane amount of focus, dedication. And that's one thing about having a good physique, working out, going to the gym, you can't fake it. It, to get to where he is, there's no substitute for putting in the time and effort in for years to be a bodybuilder, which is something that, which that's why I love going to the gym because it's just, it's great. It's a, it gives me a source of, I did something. I, I don't know what the word is. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. There it is. Now, watching someone like Sam, all of his thumbnails are him shirtless, I think, or him showing off his muscles. So when you see someone like that, it's almost like his body is doing all of the work for, whereas, you know, for creators like you and me or creators that don't have that amazing of a physique, we have to put a bit more effort into the actual thumbnails and titles, which is totally fine. But the fact that everyone is watching his 35 minute videos, barely any editing, barely any titles, I think that shows that us, the viewers, because I'm a viewer too and a creator, we're getting sick of the, we're getting sick of the whole calculated, engineered, clickbaity, getting us to click, um, you know, making edits so that we can't move away. Everything is engineered to get us to click, to get us to keep watching. And I think a lot of people are getting just kind of tired of it just because that is what we, that is what we, was he waving? <laughs> I don't know if that guy was waving back there. Uh, yeah, I think we're just getting tired of it. I know that I am. Uh, again, 
Mr. Beast, great creator, but uh, a lot of people over here. A little nerve wracking, but a little nerve wracking. I haven't done this in a while, but you know, everyone. If you try to copy someone like Mr. Beast, it's already been done before. And I think YouTube as a whole, social media as a whole, we're craving that authenticity. We're craving that realness, and not just the overproduction, over editing. It is even something that I've experienced as well. It's a bit noisy over here. Got a bus right there. Tuesday morning. No manic Mondays here. But yeah, some of my very best videos have just simple edits, simple thumbnails, and it's just me doing something, filming it, talking about it, adding value. Uh, the Mr. Beast stuff, again, Mr. I'm not knocking him at all, but I think that that stuff it's already been done. You know, you can't be the next, you can't be the next, uh, can't be the next Mr. Beast. You got to be the, the next you. And I think Sam Selleck is, and Sam Selleck is a great, a great, uh, great example of just being you and sky's the limit. All right. With that being said, I got to get to the gym so that I can work on my physique so that I can just post whatever thumbnails and titles and just show my muscles and get tons of clicks and millions of subscribers. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And I usually say thanks for watching at the end. So have a great day. Appreciate everyone. Thanks for watching.